Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. Among the many shipyards around the world, there is one shipyard that focuses on creating modern high-speed catamaran ships. This shipyard is operated by NCAT Tasmania, located in Derwent Park, Hobart, Tasmania, Australia. NCAT Tasmania was established in 1977 as the Sullivan's Cove Ferry Company through a partnership between founder Bob Clifford and marine architect Philip Herkes. At that time, the company had only built four small ferries before international catamarans. However, this partnership created plans for the world's first catamaran ship capable of piercing large waves. Sadly, this partnership dissolved in 1988 and Clifford renamed the company NCAT Tasmania. Meanwhile, Herkus returned to Sydney to establish NCAT Designs, a design specialization company that merged to become NCAT Crowther in 2005. In fact, NCAT Crowther has no connection with NCAT Tasmania and its ships are built by other companies. NCAT Tasmania has its own internal design company called Revolution Design. In its early years, NCAT focused on building smaller boats and ferries with little difference from other shipyards, except for a willingness to experiment and innovate. However, NCAT's revolutionary Hall 023 type ship completed in 1990 was vastly different and marked NCAT's first ferry with significant speed, height, wave-piercing hulls, and its distinctive center bow design. As one of the world's first large aluminium vehicles to carry catamarans, NCAT contributed to the major changes in the shipping industry that occurred in the 1990s. NCAT Tasmania builds various ship types including large and small passenger ferries, military vessels, K-class ships, oil rig tenders, and even luxurious cruise ships. NCAT Tasmania has even been trusted to build the floating pontoon dock at Brook Street. The shipbuilding process at NCAT Tasmania uses aluminium construction, wave-piercing technology, and water jet technology. Typically, ships built at this shipyard have a length of up to 130 meters, a size of 13,000 gross tons, and a cruising speed of up to 58 knots or around 107 kilometers per hour. Before construction begins, the company first signs the ship specifications and construction contract. Next, the ship is designed using computers by the design team according to the predetermined plan. Simultaneously, the production team at the shipyard prepares at the construction center. The first step at this facility is to cut 4,000 square meters of metal plates. These plates are cut to specific sizes. During this process, supervisors oversee and ensure all plates are cut to the proper dimensions to proceed to the fabrication stage. After the plate cutting is complete, the plates move to the construction hall for prefabrication of large and small components. Large modules are built, transported, and positioned as needed. This allows the construction crew to build efficiently and effectively, often shortening the overall construction process time at NCAT Tasmania. NCAT Tasmania has two construction halls named Wilson's and Coverdale's, each 250 meters long. The construction of their flagship high-speed catamarans takes place in these large facilities. Here, the catamaran frames are formed. 
However, before attaching the plates, this area is sprayed with water jets, an integral part of the propulsion system with a water capacity of around 21,000 liters per second. This water flows from each water jet unit. Modules like the 9-ton center bow are attached to the ship. From there, the catamaran's shape starts to take form. Once the ship's body is formed, the next step is installing the large engines to power the vessel. Each of these engines produces around 9,000 kilowatts, equivalent to the power of about 250 family cars. After the ship's body and machinery are installed, the final interior adjustments like passenger seats, stairs, and other elements are made. However, before delivery to the operating company, the high-speed catamaran undergoes testing first. One of Incat Tasmania's proud high-speed ships is the Incat Hall 069. This vessel has a top speed of 50 knots or around 107 kilometers per hour. However, Hall 069 is not NCAT's newest ship. In fact, it is the fourth ship built by NCAT with a service speed exceeding 50 knots and has won the Hales Cup three times in a row. The basic material for the NCAT Hall 069's hulls is aluminium, connected by a central arch structure at the front end. Each hull is divided into nine ventilated space and watertight compartments further divided by transverse bulkheads. Two compartments in each hull are prepared as fuel tanks with additional compartments prepared as long-range or reserve tanks. The construction process for Hall 069 is nearly identical to assembling other NCAT ships. Initially, this ship is designed by the naval architects and once approved, the ship assembly process begins. After completing the hull assembly from plate cutting to frame installation, the next step is installing the turbine engines for this vessel. Hall 069's engines are GE 22 megawatt gas turbines. The power for this ship's water jet engines comes from two Wartzilla LJX 1720SR engines. These engines can move 24,000 liters of water per engine every second. So despite this ship's super-fast speed, it remains economical in terms of maintenance costs. Interestingly, the NCAT 069 can use two fuels, either LNG or distillate. This also makes it one of the most fuel-efficient ships. In addition to a passenger deck accommodating 1,024 people, this 99-meter long ship also features a vehicle deck capable of carrying up to 450 cars. The ship also offers a 1,100-square-meter 1 duty-free shopping center. After assembly, the Argentinian ferry company Buquebus named this NCAT Hall 069 the Francisco to honor Pope Francis. In addition to its 99-meter length, Hull 069 has a width of 26.94 meters, a draft of 2.98 meters, and a weight of 450 tons. This ship has fuel tanks of 2 times 70,000 liters, LNG tanks of 2 times 40 cubic meters, and 5,000 liters of fresh water for onboard use. NCAT has become a catalyst for the development of the maritime industry in Tasmania. Now, this world-leading shipbuilder has many and product contributors, including CBG Systems. 
CBG Systems has been an NCAT supplier for over 30 years, providing the most efficient and lightweight white panel fire protection systems in the world. In addition to CBG Systems, NCAT's neighboring Tasmanian-based company Life Raft Systems Australia or LSA focuses on producing life rafts for large ships including those produced by NCAT Tasmania. Therefore, when entering the testing phase, NCAT ships are not only checked for engine performance and maneuverability but also to ensure these life rafts function properly. This is to ensure smooth evacuation or rescue operations, especially in the event of accidents ranging from fires to grounding. 